he goes. It's just a battle just to keep this thing in a straight line. Everyone is lining up to have pot shots at me. Oh my goodness! Lambo, hold on! <laughs> What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video for the first time ever I'm finally doing it. You guys have wanted me to play a set of course a competizione for the longest time and uh, Thankfully the guys over at 505 games came over and said Ben Here's a code to the game uh, for console. Let's play. So uh, here we are. This video is sponsored uh, by 505 games So I uh, just want to be completely upfront with you guys and uh, yeah, I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check out Assetto Corsa. It is out now for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, so uh, you guys can check it out. But yeah, this is actually going to be my first play of the game. And uh, this is a game I've been keeping an eye on uh, thoroughly over the last few months. And uh, for whatever reason, I just haven't got around to doing it. But now, here we are. I'm really excited. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, just a quick race. Um, I had a little look through the... Um, track list and also car combinations you can go for and I was very surprised to find Mount Panorama in here so that is exactly what we're going to do today but going back to my home race uh, out of all the tracks available here here's a, here's a few of them just so you guys can see but um, yeah we're going to be jumping in the McLaren 720s and uh, interesting that they've got like a McLaren shadow livery with uh, some of their drivers in here which is uh, really interesting considering I am now a McLaren Shadow Ambassador. It's just kind of funny how everything's coming together. But anyway, we're going to jump in and uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see how my first drive of a set of course, a competition. <coughs> but yeah, we're going to jump in for a first drive and I'm going to see just how bad I am at a set of course, a competition. It's hot today. I think it's 30 degrees in the UK. Kind of wish I was in Australia right now. It's, it's probably about the same, but nowhere near as humid. That's one thing I've got to say is, uh, you know, 30 degrees in the UK is not the same as 30 degrees in Australia. I will give you guys that. Um, need to sort myself out with some air conditioning or something. But uh, here we are. I think I've just thrown myself straight into a race, unfortunately. So to get myself up to speed, uh, I'm going to have to um, oh, be so consistent. We're starting from P1 in the McLaren. It looks like we're one of the only McLarens in the field, or possibly the only McLaren from what I can see. Um, so we're in optimal bottle zone. I'm trialing a new camera angle. Let me know if you like it. Oh goodness, why did I think this is a good idea to just throw myself right into the deep end? I hope my brakes are calibrated. Off we go. Rosetto Corsa Competizione, Mount Panorama. Oh, I've been spun! <laughs> right off the outset. Oh goodness. Why we can never have good things. Oh, P15. I think I need to turn my engine sound down a little bit. The thing about these Soto Corsa games is they're always so loud, so visceral. I mean, I love the I love the sounds. But that always just catches me out a little bit. Through turn two. Jeez, I can't believe I just throw myself right into a rage with no practice. I love just punishing myself, I do into the cutting. I absolutely love this circuit. I've done so many laps at this place, so it should come natural. Anyway, over the top of the mountain, the McLaren 720S. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm trying to distinguish whether I can go through here flat out. I mean, you can pretty much do so in a V8 supercar. So this is GT3. You would imagine it should be possible as we head down the mountain and this is a section I feel like I'm really good at of course first lap on the game so I'm not going to be pushing the limits all too much I do have a little bit of damage on I think damage is on 50% I did put on I did turn off a lot of assists and stuff so um, yeah definitely not making life easy for myself here but here we go in the substream of the Lamborghini in front well, let's see if we can get him into the chase I want to have the inside here so I'm going to hold it there we go! Oh baby! We got an achievement for that as well, thank you very much! <laughs> oh, this is sick. Oh, there's a bit of a gaggle up there. Three wide, some people are in the pit lane. Why are they doing that? I don't think, uh... I don't think I enabled any kind of pit stop in this race, but... Regardless... We survived a lap. 
This is a 15 minute race, so we're not going to get too many laps around here at Mount Panorama. It's a good two minute lap time around here. If you're on the pace, which I definitely am not. But we move. It said that this game is uh, only capped at 30 FPS. And that is a bit of a problem. Especially if you're a, a PC pleb like me, who's used to all the frames in the world. So far, it doesn't feel too bad to be honest. I haven't noticed it too much, and I actually thought I would. I thought it would be worse than this, but uh, I do hope that maybe in the future they can up the, the support to, to 60 FPS. But as a console experience, you know, having a sim, a proper sim on a console is a, is a bit of a rarity. Um, so I appreciate they've made the effort to, to bridge over into the wider audience. Got the Lexus RCF right in front of us to see if we can get him. So it's not really it's not really an overtaking zone of the track here. Oh, on the left. I say that as we get on the inside. Into the skyline S's! Okay. I feel like there's some kind of delay with my wheel. Hey, that's one of the proper uh, Australian track announcers. I appreciate the detail there. Double file. Alright guys, so uh, I've decided to bin off that race. We're going to start from the back this time and we're going to see how far we can legitimately uh, run our way through the field. It'll be a good test to see what the AI are like on this game. Um, but like I said, I have, I've never played this game so I don't know, I don't have any knowledge. So this is me Going just coming into five. it as a novice. Like I feel like a lot of you guys will be to the Assetto Corsa series, especially if you're, you know, on console. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Let me know where you think I'm going to finish in the comments. Now let's get this race underway. We've got a lot of Ferraris in front of us, so let's uh, dispatch of them in quick time. Off we go. Wow! Aggressive! Off the start. I'm running the default AI setting, so I think they're on uh, level 90. I don't know what it goes up to, uh, but they're on 90 aggressiveness as well. So I feel like they're on, I feel like they're at least at the upper echelon of skill level. But of course, on the first lap, you're going to be a little bit tentative. Me being Tim and Marduk. Not the case. I'll have a repeat of Greg Murphy, Marcus Ambrose into here. Well, looks like he's done it himself in the Lexus. Jeez. All right, come on. Car on the right. Here on the right. Ah! Good contact there. I probably could have upped the AI difficulty a little bit more, but we're gonna we're gonna have no shortage of action in this race. That's for sure. But uh, here comes this. Big boy Mercedes, he's looking outside, he's looking inside, he can't find a way through. We are going to hold on just about for the time being. We run into the chase again. We hear the car bottoming out and making a lot of scary noises I do not like. Ah, I don't like it one bit. I see yellow flags, but I don't see any incident which has caused it. <laughs> which has me very worried at a track like this, full of blind high speed corners. Down the hill once again. Please, Ben, just keep it in one piece. I want to gobble up that Mercedes for breakfast. There we go. Nice exit on the Conrod. This is what we want to see. In the lip stream of the Mercedes in front. Listen to this baby purr. Mercedes is fast. With no slipstream in front, it is keeping pace with me right now. Is it stronger under brakes though? Oh, you know what? It's probably not. Like I, I reckon I could have got in there. I was just a bit tentative. Didn't want to cause an accident. Didn't want to rush into things. But that Merc is fast. But being a front engine car, from my experience of GT racing, that thing is a bit of an understeery beast. So the advantage we do have is in the corners. So let's make it work for us. I 
and laid under brakes. Square off the exit. Get on power nice and early. We're gonna need it up against this Merc. Completely rev out the car. I'm not I'm not fully utilizing any of the uh, the HUD that's on screen. I'm just I'm really just using my primal functions here of just steering, accelerating, and braking. <laughs> I can't be I can't deal with the other stuff right now. I just have this this drive to just get in front of this this Mercedes and then go from there. Come on, baby. Oh, Jesus. Thing likes to snap on you a little bit. I tell you what, we're catching the leaders now. This could get spicy in a lap. I think I can hear the floor scraping as I go down the mountain there. I might have to raise the, the ride height or something. Oh, yellow flag. What are we saying? <laughs> Please, no one be stranded off on the exit of one of these corners. There's so many blind corners here at Bathurst. All high speed as well. If something goes wrong for one person, you're all gone. But uh, I think we're clear. I'm not too sure. The, the yellow flags do seem to be following us though a little bit. I, did I touch something there? Maybe, maybe my floor just scraped. Jeez, that's scary. You know, now that I think about it, the more we get settled into this race, the AI can get into their own rhythm, the faster they are. I, I think my original prediction of the AI being too easy was maybe a bit premature there. So I'm kind of struggling to keep pace with them now. I'm doing my best. Big battle pack in front. There we go, he's up the inside. Oh, they're a bit sideways through there. Surely we'll get somebody here. Out of the way, man! <laughs> Horrific exit. Oh. Do I send it? Car on the right. Clear on the right. Oh. Okay. Don't do that again. Now we're under pressure from those behind. Oh. I said a Corsa. <laughs> It's not forgiving. You really can't throw the car into corners. Mistakes have been made. Oh, I'm definitely down. Oh! Side by side through the chase is not what I had in mind today. Yeah, since that crash, I've, I've got damage. When do you have damage? Comments. Rolling in, I can see it now. Oh, it's a shame. Because we could have easily got like a top five there. It was just, uh. Didn't make the best decisions under. under racecraft. I've got some bench steering now as well, so the steer. Uh, the, uh, the damage model is on show for you guys a little bit now. Let's, uh, hopefully just hold on to what we've got at the moment. P14. Four minutes to go. This is not gonna be pleasant. I might go defensive here. Car on the left. I've got nothing. Clear on the left. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Ah! Oh, come on! Why did I leave damage on? In my first race. At Mount Panorama. This man just... Yeah. I love making life difficult for myself. Arcade Racer. Crashes into wall. <laughs> Car shows visible damage. Arcade racer. Pikachu shocked face. Oh man, this is so bad. I am dropping to last now. I'm just, I'm so gone now. There he goes. It's just a battle just to keep this thing in a straight line. Everyone is lining up to have pot shots at me. Oh my goodness! Lambo, hold on! <laughs> that was a wild ride. I would have loved to have seen the onboard of his <laughs> POV. Because that is going to be the same of the century. Too deep, too deep, too deep, too deep. P19. 
This is all I've got left to fight for now. Me versus the wooden spoon. Oh! Alright, well, that's... that's that then. Alright. This car is absolutely battered. So, okay. The car is battered. My confidence is battered. I'm getting battered in the comments. I'm still getting battered. It's uh It's not been a good day for the boys at McLaren. <laughs> oh mental. This is <laughs> This is me having to go in a straight line. <laughs> Oh, this is not safe, one bit. Let's just calm this down and retire with a little bit of dignity, potentially, if we've got any left. This game is brutal. It's unforgiving, it's got character, and those are all the ingredients that you need for a fun sim racing game. Jeez. Anyway. This has been my video on a set of course of Competizione. Um, to be honest, I've actually completely forgotten about the 30 FPS. I, I really thought that was going to bother me. Um, but no, it hasn't. You get used to it, I suppose. Um, the more and more you drive. But um, there we go. That is the end of our day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Assetto Corsa Competizione. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Thank you to 505 Games for sponsoring this video. And um, yeah, check it out. PS4. Xbox One. I'm. Uh, I'm. This. This definitely won't be the last video that I do on this game. It's. Uh, it's very good. Anyway, until the next one. I'll see you next time. Can I um? I might just send myself up an escape road here. <laughs> what does that do to everyone? Oh, they're all waiting. Oh, thanks, guys. You're all so considerate. Alright, let the King of Bathurst come back through. <laughs>